So a week has passed, and I'm pretty sure everyone unanimously agrees that Storm Force of Nature is one of the most insane Spellslinger, Storm, Combat, Brew type of commanders out there, right? I mean, the card combines the shenanigans of Rug and a little bit of combat and a little bit of Spellslinger off the blue side, a lot of aggression off the red, and then maybe some Tudor creature shenanigans off the green side. And with so many directions to take such an insane commander, giving your instant and sorcery Storm... I think there are many different ways that you can take this from a competitive perspective, from a value perspective, and I don't think a lot of people are clued into some of the more powerful synergies out there. And that's what I want to do in this video. I'm not going to give you a 99. I'm just going to point you in a direction. I'm going to give you a couple categories that you can build into some key cards that you definitely want to include, especially in a world where we can start adding storm to cards that have never had them before. We can break spells that are already ruining your commander games as you know them right now but let's start off by reading the card itself so storm force of nature four mana one green blue and red for a legendary creature mutant hero three four flying vigilance with ceaseless tempest that says whenever storm deals combat damage to a player the next instant or sorcery spell you cast this turn has storm now you have to deal combat damage to it so you have to kind of get it out and it immediately has to do damage notably it doesn't have haste so you're already kind of thinking you're going to need some amount of haste enablers there are some in green and there are plenty of them in red after that you can go with some extra combat turns and you can already start brewing from there but the very first category of spell that i want to talk about is the fact that if you're able to get that initial hit off something like double strike is going to be very important in this deck, not only for the commander itself, but also for some of the other creatures that you might want to be kind of swinging into. So the first card that you want to be including in this deck is probably going to be Teamer Battle Rage. Now, obviously, this thing's a 3-4. I feel like they already knew what they were doing when they were designing this. They didn't want ferocious shenanigans off the rip with it. So you're going to have to give it a bit of a boost or maybe enable it some other way to give it trample, but Teamer Battle Rage does give it double strike off the rip. So Flying and Vigilance, already really powerful, very evasive, it's going to be untapped and you're going to get two hits meaning the next spell you cast is going to have storm and storm so that's really what i wanted to bring up in the next category using spells that already have storm in them and now this category is going to be a bit of a double whammy i am called that mill guy so i'm going to talk a little bit of mill so i want to talk about brain freeze as an auto include now Two ways here, you already have a card with Storm. And similar to how Cascade works, you've probably seen cards like Maelstrom Wanderer that have multiple instances of Cascade. And so Storm works the same way. I've asked this question, I think many people have, and it has been confirmed that you can add multiple instances of Storm to the same card. We just haven't seen it yet because there's a reason it's called the Storm Scale. Storm is one of the most busted mechanics in Magic's history, and that's why Brain Freeze getting three Storm Triggers off a double strike is absolutely insane, and obviously giving like mill spells like Tasha's Hideous Laughter, Fractured Sanity, where it's each opponent, heck, even Brain Freeze, where you can then retarget a different person is going to be really valuable, so again, an automatic win condition there, and again, just hopping off the fact that think about your favorite Storm spells, I'm thinking cards like Grape Shot, giving them multiple instances of Storm, is just going to be that level one value that you already want. But I think many of you have already gotten there in terms of this is what I need to include in my deck list. So in this next category, I want to talk about just the extra turn spells. And it's not just about extra combat. I think many of you have clued into the fact that, yes, there are extra combat spells out there that you can give Storm. That's easy. What about some of the bigger spells like Expropriate, a card that honestly pretty much just wins the game from there because your opponents have to choose not only voting for the first expropriate giving you kind of more cards extra turns whatever it might be or you know kind of permanence of control but then they're going to have to do that with future copies of it and the great thing about a card like this is you have to think about you don't have to go super crazy on the storm count a lot of times you just want a little bit of value maybe a card with storm one two or three and then you want to cast big spells like expropriate to get immediate value with only a storm count of one two or three you may not want to be playing something like grape shot to get like a high storm count and you know kind of storm everyone off you just want big spells that get value off of storming off again one two or three times and that's why a card like expropriate is really powerful it's not just an extra turn spell it gains you value in terms of some permanence some cards and just a whole lot of things so that's why i wanted to bring it in specifically representing that kind of extra turn aspect because it does a lot more and it kind of just seals off the win there if your opponent's voting like three four times 
I think their mind's going to kind of melt and they can concede the game and you can get your victory from there. But the next category that I want to talk about on top of that is going to be something like Throws of Chaos. This is specifically to do with Cascade. There's a couple of spells out there and effects that we can abuse in terms of getting Cascade in these colors. And specifically, I wanted to mention Throws of Chaos because imagine you gave something like this Cascade. You could build around this specifically where Throws of Chaos allows you to, you know, Cascade, for spells kind of lower value of this so if throws of cascade is like the only spell at that value you could tutor for it and then storm into the throws of cascade casting into multiple other random different spells and then you could retrace it as well that's why i wanted to mention throws because in future turns where you don't have other spells and you don't want to necessarily you know <laughs> storm off of like a bunch of copies of brainstorm then you can retrace this cast it again and then go off over and over and over again like throws of chaos like for storm force of nature is like a specific like archetype of deck so i thought this was like a cool build around in that sense there's a lot of tutors that you can get out in blue that can grab something like this and then you can throws of chaos into like a bunch of them as well so again a really high value type of card take advantage of these cascade effects and maybe even like build around them so abuse some of the other mechanics that already are extremely powerful in magic's arsenal go in with some double strike give this thing storm 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 and then it's gonna be just cascading multiple damn times it, it, it's just gonna be a really crazy time resolving some of these stacks and again these are the type of cards that even if you only have a storm count of like one two or three being able to cast a bunch of spells down the line for free it's just going to be adding to the way that you're going to be able to win the game in terms of the resources that you have. You might be able to draw in your extra turn spells like those of chaos in and of itself is like almost like a tutor. And, and imagine giving your tutor spells cascade as well. And this is where my final category, I want to talk about something like Green Sun Zenith. Now, yes, there are a bunch of spell tutors in blue. There are, you know, some in red. And imagine something like a storm two or three. How many combos do you think you can think of with the green sun zenith on like a, you know, large enough X because it says value X or less. So imagine green sun zenith X equals four storm count like two or three. I'm 90% sure if you build your deck right, you could find a two card combo that wins you the game if you were to tutor for two to three creatures on the spot, right? In these colors, you could go for like Displacer Kitten, you could go for like Eternal Witness, Spell Seeker, Archaeomancer, like there's so many different like high level tutors that you could go for. And obviously this is gonna be like more of a spiky build in that sense. Like there are some conversations going around about this and like kind of lower tiers of like CDH. It This definitely isn't like, one of those CDH cards that is more traditional. It doesn't like win off the rip, but it has a lot of value because you're going to be able to enable it. And again, something like Green Sun Zuna, Zena, just giving your tutor storm, even if it's just storm two, tutoring for three cards for free is not going to be something that you'll ever complain about in EDH. It, it, it like you are through the moon if you can tutor for free cards. And of course, this is way beyond magic as Richard Garfield intended. We are past the point of, you know, tutors in CDH. If you're playing CDH, I should say, tutors in EDH, you're playing CDH, you're playing all the most powerful cards in magic. You're playing the fetch lands as well. You're playing the most powerful stuff. So if you're able to do that with your tutors, you're going to be really powerful there. Now, obviously I think for this purpose, they specifically didn't make this Grixis for a reason. Can you imagine if you, you, you were able to just give your black spells storm? Yeah, I think they balanced this specific to rug for a reason, but also the green aspect of it is really powerful because you're going to get access to like good green stuff, uh, good haste enablers in crossroads and just a lot of good spells out of rug that are just going to give you a a lot of value in general. So this is probably going to be a very low to the ground deck, in my opinion, not a lot of high spells, maybe like an expropriate card or two, but you're going to generally going to be want to ramp out cards that maybe you can cast for free over and over again, some bounce effects, blah, 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 low instant and sorcery counts, tutors, all that stuff. And honestly, there's just so many ways that you can build storm uh, force of nature. So let me know what you think about these recommendations. Let me know in the comment section down below. What are some cards that you're specifically looking to include into a deck list like this? And what is the direction that you want to go? Because again, the way I'm going to go personally, I'm really looking at that throws of chaos type of build with it and just building specifically around maybe getting a card like that, storming it off and just 
seeing where something like that goes. But there also are like so many different ways to build this like combat heavy. And then your instant and sorcery spells are just value. You're not necessarily like winning off of them. You could go with like infinite turns. Giving instant and sorcery storm is just a, an ability that like in these colors is just going to be a sight to behold. And it makes me really excited for some of the other legendaries that we're going to get down the line. I mean, heck, look at the other Lord of the Rings set. We got so many different versions of Gandalf. I mean, we're going to get many versions of Iron Man, Spider-Man and all that stuff. So there's a lot of legendaries to look at down the line. And this is a very great first look at it. So again, let me know what you think of the recommendations in the comment section down below. Are you excited to play any one of them? Am I just missing the plot? Is there one card that I should be mentioning? Is there a tutor? Is there a storm spell? Drop it down in the comments down below. And I would love to brew with you.